Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Gidhuri, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a VPC, configure subnet, set up firewall rules, and creating a virtual machine in Google Cloud Console. So, here you can see this is my Google Cloud Console. So, first, let's navigate to VPC network. So, let me open this in a new tab. So, currently, here you can see currently we have only the two different VPCs one is default VPC, and one is public VPC. So, before creating VPC, let's quickly understand what is VPC and why it's important. So, first let's talk about what is VPC. So, here VPC stands for Virtual Private Cloud and it is a private network within the Google Cloud that allows resources like virtual machines, databases and cloud functions to communicate securely. So, it acts like a customized data center where you can define subnets, firewall rules and routing. So, here the main key components of using this VPC is subnets, firewall rules and routing. So let's talk about subnets. So here subnets divides the VPC into smaller network for better organization. And the second thing is firewall rules. So it controls inbound and outbound traffic. And the third is route tables. So it diverts traffic inside and outside of the network. Okay. So now that we have understand the basics. So let's go ahead and create our first VPC in Google Cloud. So here you can see directly here we can select create VPC network. So first you need to give the name of the VPC. So let's give the VPC name like test VPC. And here you can see subnet creation mode. So when you are going to create a subnets on Google Cloud, here we have two different options. One is custom and one is automatic. So if you select your custom by default, you need to create your own subnets with your own IP ranges. And after that, if you select your automatic by default, Google Cloud will provide nearly 30 plus subnets to you guys. Okay, here you can see in different regions with different uh, CIDA ranges, it will provide all the subnets. Okay, so these are the subnets. So in this video, we are going to create a custom subnet. So directly select your custom. And first, you need to provide the name of the subnet. So let's give the subnet name like test subnet 1. And region. So in which, in which region you want to create this subnet it was asking. So I want to create in US Central 1. Okay. So here we need to give the subnet CIDR range. So let's give the subnet CIDR range like 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So it comes with 256 IPs guys. Okay. So directly select here done. So now we created only one subnet. So let's create if you want to create another subnet directly select here add subnet and directly provide the subnet name. So let's give the name like test subnet 2 and here you need to provide the region. So now let's create in US East 1. Okay. So here you need to give the IP range of your subnet. That means CIDR range. Okay. Now 10.0.1.0 slash 24. So it also creates with uh, 256 IPs guys. Okay. So directly select here done. So after now we created two subnets okay in two different regions. So again uh, same like this if you want to create one another subnet you can directly select here add subnet and directly you can provide the name of the subnet which is test subnet 3. Like this you can give other uh, names and here you need to provide the region. So here region you can select whatever you want. So now let's select Asia South 1 and IP range let's give 10.0.2.0 slash 24 okay. So directly select here done. Okay. So here you can see up to now we created three subnets in this VPC. Under test VPC, we created three subnets. So here subnets are nothing but it is a smaller networks inside the VPC. Okay. Now let's directly come down and let's directly select here create. So now a VPC will be created and three subnets will be created under this VPC. Okay. So let's wait. So meanwhile, let's open compute engine. Let me select this and directly open here compute engine. So meanwhile, let's come here. You can see test VPC is going to create. So let me refresh this page. So let's come here and let's select refresh. So here you can see currently right now I don't have any of the virtual machines. So let's create two virtual machines in this virtual uh, VPC network. Okay. So let me refresh this. So 
so still uh, this vpc is going to create So here you can see test VPC has been created with three subnets. So if you want to cross check this, you can directly select this test VPC and directly select your subnets. So here you can see we created three subnets in three different regions with different different CIDR ranges. Okay. So test subnet one we created under US Central one, and test subnet two we created under US East one, and test subnet three we created under Asia South one. Okay. With the different CIDR ranges. Okay. So now Let's create a virtual machine in US Central 1 under this VPC and on this subnet let's create. Let's come to Compute Engine and directly select here Create Instance. So first you need to provide the name of the subnet. So sorry name of the instance. So let's give the name like Test Instance 1 and now region so here you can see subnet one we created under us central one so here you need to se select uh, region as us central one guys okay directly select here us central one and zone by default if you select here any by default google cloud will create this virtual machine in any of this zone by default if you select us central one a it will create this virtual machine only in us central one a okay so now let's come down and let's select machine configuration as e2 small okay so now let's select OS and storage here OS I need Ubuntu so I'm going to select here Ubuntu and directly select here select and in networking so this is the main thing so previously we created test VPC and we created three different subnets right so here I'm going to select that VPC not I'm going to I'm not going to create under this default VPC I want to create under my test VPC directly select here test VPC and here you can see test subnet 1 so test subnet 1 is created under us central 1 so that's why automatically here it was taking test subnet 1 so come down and directly select here create so this virtual machine is going to create so let's create another virtual machine in U us east 1 okay so directly come here select create instance so let's remove this test instance 2 and here so you can see here we created test subnet 2 under us east 1 right so let's come here and directly select us east 1 okay directly select this and now here i'm going to select zone as any so by default google cloud will create in any of this zone in single zone it will create okay so now here also i'm going to select machine type as e2 small when it comes to os and storage here i'm going to select ubuntu so this is the operating system of our virtual machine okay so this is the version ubuntu 20.04 and minimum storage is 10 gb directly select here select and in networking i'm going to select allow http and https traffic and this is the main thing in networking i want to create in test vpc so automatically it will take test subnet 2 why because means when we are going to create this virtual machine we automatically selected region as us east 1 okay so that's why here automatically it was taking test subnet 2 now Let's directly select here done and directly select here create. So here you can see test instance one it is up and running. So now if I select here SSH it will not connect guys. Why because means we haven't given firewall rules for this VPC. Okay. So directly jump onto firewalls. So again I'm telling you here firewalls are nothing but firewalls uh, controls inbound and outbound traffic for this VPC. Okay. So now let's create a firewall rule with port 22 which is SSH. Okay, directly select here add firewall rule. And let's give the name like firewall for test VPC. Okay, so now here I'm going to create this firewall for test VPC. So I'm going to select here test VPC and here priority I'm going to select 1000 and targets I want to provide internet to all instances in this network okay i'm going to select this uh, option and here source ip4 range is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 okay so now here i'm going to select uh specified ports and ports 
and hit TCP, which is port 22. So if you want to allow all ports, you can directly select here allow all. So it will allow all ports. Okay. So if you want to uh, send specific port, you can directly select here TCP and you can directly provide that port, which is 22 for SSH. And let's do another port, which is ICMP, which is for ping. Okay. Directly select here create. So meanwhile, let's come here and let's refresh this. So here you can see test instance 2 also it is up and running. So meanwhile, let's connect to this virtual machine 1. In test instance 1. Parallelly, let's select here test instance 2. Directly select here SSH. So it will connect to our virtual machines. Okay. So let me select this. Directly select here authorize. Otherwise, okay. So here you can see it was successfully connected to test instance one. Okay. So now let's update this sudo apt sorry. Update hyphen way. So it will update our virtual machine. Parallelly, let's update our test instance two also, guys. Okay. Now sudo apt update hyphen y now let's clear the screen hostname hyphen i okay so here you can see this is test instance one which is 10.0.0.2 this is the internal ip address okay so now let's see test instance one internal ip is 10.0.0.2 okay so successfully it is created under uh, test uh, subnet one okay so now let's come here let's clear the screen ip hostname i 10.0.1.2 okay so this is created under test subnet 2 okay so here you can see 10.0.1.2 so this test instance 2 is created under test subnet 2 test instance 1 is created under test subnet 1 okay so this is how you can create a VPC, subnet, firewalls and virtual machines on Google Cloud. So now let's delete this everything. So after completing your labs, try to delete this everything guys. Okay. Why? Because means Google Cloud will charge some of the amount from you. So before create, before deleting this uh, test VPC, first you need to delete this both virtual machines. So directly select these two virtual machines and directly select here delete. So before uh, deleting this, uh, let's select only test instance one and directly select here delete and delete so up to now we connected uh, using this ssh right so if you want to connect using cloud shell okay here you can see this is the cloud shell so google cloud shell so if you want to connect using this you can directly drop down this and directly here you can see view g clouds command directly select this and by copying this command you can directly connect from cloud shell okay and Let's directly delete this uh, test sub test instance to also guys. Okay, delete and delete. Let me refresh this. And after terminating these two virtual machines, let's directly delete this VPC subnets and firewalls. So directly you can delete this uh, VPC guys. Okay, then automatically these three subnets will be deleted and this firewall rule also will be deleted. Okay. So let me drop down this. So port 22 here you can see this firewall rule also will be deleted. Okay. So let's go back. Directly select here test VPC. Meanwhile, let's come here and let's refresh this. Test instance 1 is deleted. So currently it is deleting test instance 2. So let's wait. So meanwhile, let's select test VPC. So we can directly delete this uh, VPC network. Test VPC. Okay. So let's wait. Let me refresh this. So here you can see both the instance has been deleted. So now let's directly delete this test VPC. Directly delete, select here delete test VPC and directly select here test VPC and delete. So here you can see test vpc is going to delete first uh, subnets will be deleted and after that firewall rule will be deleted and finally test vpc will be deleted okay and yes that's it for today's video 
So if you want to learn more about Google Cloud, please subscribe to my YouTube channel guys. So currently I was posting more and more videos on Google Cloud. Okay. And yes, that's it for today's video. And if you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next video and bye.